So I'm just looking at the astrology chart and we actually have Scorpio season beginning right now. Now, this may not seem a big thing to those of you who are not conscious about what that actually means uh, astrologically and how it's going to affect your energies and what does it do to help you resolve certain situations that may be holding you back right now. Meaning there can be certain baggages that you are still carrying from the past into the present and then you're continuously manifesting the wrong things in your life because you have not dropped that and let it go. Well, this period in this astrological cycle is to help you cleanse and clear and get rid of it if you co-create and work alongside the universal energy. So it's very important you know how to do that. That's why in this video, I'm gonna break down for you three things that you can start doing right now to start resolving certain things, to cleanse and clear and remove all blockages, remove all limiters so you can go full steam ahead after this portal. This portal is gonna last around 72 hours. We're gonna dive deep into it, but before we get into it, show real. Hit it. Hey everyone, Namo Himalaya, this is Sri Akashana here. And in this video, I'm gonna break down for you what does it mean when Scorpio season is actually opening up today with this huge 1022 portal, right? I'm just looking at the um, astrology chart right now. And what we'll see is that Mercury is going to descend into cosmic scorpion cave. Now, what does this mean? Well, we have that going on while Scorpio's powerful and mysterious energy starts seeping into the scene. We're gonna find a few surprises, uh, hopefully pleasant surprises if you know how to navigate it best, okay? Now, aside from that as well, we also have the sun following the next day, uh, that's tomorrow, where it's gonna actually kick off the Scorpio season. Uh, sun and Mercury are very powerful and they are with responsible Saturn. So while we are going through all of these different changes and shifts, and then we've got another eclipse coming up, it is the perfect time where you are going to have a little bit more strength than usual. You're gonna have a little bit more courage than usual to start tapping into your things that you need to resolve. Things that you know have been a problem for you for a while now, but you've been kind of like brushing it under the carpet and it's like rotting in there and it's time to actually lift it up and get rid of that because that negative energy is probably affecting your day-to-day -day life and also affecting and blocking you from manifesting your greatest desires and dreams. So that's why we're gonna break this down into three main things that you need to start resolving right now. We always say when these uh, portals open, we have probably around 72 hours or maybe a little bit more than that while these energies are gonna be very vibrant and the universe will help you towards resolving these situations as long as you work with them. By the way, before we get into these three things, it's highly likely that you've been feeling an urge to speak about something that, you know, you've been hiding away and uh, haven't found the courage to speak to someone about it yet. You've been hiding something away where you've been wanting to go say sorry to someone or do something and you've been putting it away. You've got some hard conversations that you've been shying off for some time right now. And it's highly likely that from today onwards, for some reason, it came back into your memory and it came back into your conscious mind. And you just had this urge and this feeling to do something about it. If you can already resonate with what I'm saying, do let us know inside the comments so that new people who are new to astrology don't feel they're alone in this crazy, crazy thing. Because everything is collective intelligence and everything is co-creation. With that said, the first thing that we need to resolve is negative energies towards people. So this can be certain people that you have some resentment from or you haven't offered forgiveness or you still have some anger or frustration towards or some whatever the situation was that happened, you're still holding on to that memory of the past with those people. And if you are holding that negative energy with any person, guess what happens? That energy is still brought into this present 
And while you are in this physical dimension doing your work, even if you're not speaking to the other person on the other side of the world, they are also holding this old negative energy. Because this is a collective library, when they are holding that on you and you're holding that on them, there's unresolved situations, then what happens? It slows us down. It blocks our energetic flow. It stops new things from coming in because our mind on some unconscious level or our energetic field, right, is consumed. So what is a very important time for you to do is to reach out to those people, right? That's number one, that's an option. I'm not saying you have to. Some people you just don't wanna to speak to ever again, which isn't a problem. I'm gonna give you different ways to resolve this, but the first way you can resolve it is by obviously just picking up the phone call, dropping your ego, saying the, I'm sorry, I forgive you, let's leave the past behind, type of conversation and act with love and kindness and compassion and understanding and patience and try to resolve it that way. Does that mean we'll be able to resolve it with everybody in our life that we have ever fell out with? Of course not, because there's going to be some stubborn people who are still stuck in that time frame and they won't let go of it. If that's the case, then picking up the phone call, you can say your part, sending a message, sending an email, you can do your part, which also helps, but there will be still some stuck energies there which if that is the case and you do not want to call them, you do not want to speak to them again, not a problem. You can resolve it with the second option. Okay. And the second option is to do something like a fire ceremony. For those of you who don't understand what is a fire ceremony, um, actually you can do it even with a candle. You can do it with anything that's related to fire. You can even do it on a barbecue if you really wanted to. Like campfires, I always find is best for it. The energy, the vibrant energies of, of, of the sun channel allows you to have more courage to burn away and recycle the past back into the cosmos so that it's recycled energies. So what you tend to do is you'll have something of fire in front of you. It could just be a candle if you wish, okay? So something with fire in front of you, and then whatever that situation is that you are still holding on to, that grudge, that resentment, that frustration, that anger, whatever that thing is, write it all on a piece of paper, take that piece of paper and burn it inside the fire. Obviously, if you're gonna do it indoors in your house or something like that, be careful of your smoke alarms, be careful of fire, and be very careful of what you're doing, okay? So make sure that um, you have the right things for safety first, okay? So that's the first thing, is about, it's all about letting go of people and letting go of your resentment or any negative energies towards any particular person from the past. The second resolution that needs to be done is to do with resolving past emotional baggage. So instead of just thinking about people, we also need to think about situations, past traumas, past things that you felt has happened to you, right? And uh, certain situations you thought was unfair or shouldn't have gone that way. Anything that is emotional, it locks from our amygdala inside the brain into the hippocampus, which is our short and long-term memory. And then it's carried on forward in our life. But as we carry it forward, what we don't understand is those traumas will be on a repeat spiral and a repeat manifestation. Because always remember, we don't attract what we want in life, we attract what we are. So if you are still stuck with certain emotional traumas from the past or emotional baggage carrying from the past, then it's very important we learn to release it. And this is the best time to do so. If we release it, what happens is we get the energies flowing once more, we get rid of any negative energies, and then you are inviting new energies, meaning new manifestations and miracles to manifest into your life. Now, the easiest way that I found through these years to be able to do this is through breath work practice. And this will consist of three main breaths. If you guys can write this down and I'll do a quick demo so that you guys know what to practice. If I was you, I'd practice it over the next 72 hours, maybe in 10 minute, 15 minute bursts. You can practice as many times as you like, uh, but usually one or two times a day is more than enough. Now, what is the three breaths that you will practice? The first breath you will practice is flutter breath. When you do flutter breath, how do you do it? You do it from the diaphragm, from the abdominal. And you will breathe four times per second, or at least as fast as you can, through the nose. 
it will look a little bit like this. Notice when I do that breath, what happens is I'm breathing as fast as I can, fluttering the breath, and at the same time, my body is moving a lot. Why? Because I am expanding and contracting the abdominal muscles. When we expand and contract at the abdominal, what happens is, for those of you who don't know, this is our energy center. In fact, a lot of memories, traumas are stored inside here. When we do the flutter breath, a little bit like the fire breath, what happens is it activates the energies there and gets it activated and flowing. It's almost like taking a Coke can, shaking it up and it all fizzing up to get rid of the unwanted energies. So you tend to do that breath work probably for around five minutes or so. You probably feel like quite tired after five minutes and then you'll ensure that your energies are activated. So your palms will be upwards facing, your eyes will be closed and you'll breathe through the nose. Try to four times per second while contracting and expanding the diaphragm. The second part of the breath work is to allow to bring your energies up, flip the palms and out. Bring new energies in. Flip the palms and exhale. Bring new energies in. So some of you who have done any of my meditations before, any of my breathwork practices before, have probably done that breath with me before. What that does is it takes all of the outside new energies, comes in, cleanses while bringing all these unwanted energies out. When you push out, you are getting rid of all the baggage and heaviness that you may be carrying on your neck, on your shoulders, on your energy body, and it cleanses and cleans your whole aura. That will help you release the emotional baggage. The third breath that I would finish on after that is to sit in silence, just slow, deep inhale, slow exhale. So probably five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, which will equate to 15 minutes total on that breath work. The final breath will help you calm your mind, clear it, and then you can set new intentions at the end of it for the manifestations that you actually want in life. So do that practice over the next three days. That will help you resolve point number two, which is to do with emotional baggage. The third thing you need to resolve is anything related to fears, doubts, and limiters that you may be holding right now that is related to your goals moving forward. So that's to do with your future. How to actually go about doing this is to first think about what it is that you actually want to manifest in your life. What's the future you want to manifest? After you've done that, the second thing you do is you make a list very, very quickly of all the doubts and fears and negative thoughts or, or limiters that you may be putting on yourself, all the negative self-talk or the little voice that may be popping up while you think about these. Example being, I'm not good enough, this is really hard, it's gonna take a lot of time, I don't have the money to do this, I don't have the time to do this, I don't have the right knowledge to do this. So you make a whole list of those things. And then how do you resolve it? The easiest way is by countering it with opposite affirmations. What does this mean? Well, whatever that list is that you just made towards the goals that you actually have right now, you will make a list next to it, which is the opposite positive affirmation. Example being, you write, I'm not good enough. So here it says, I'm good enough. Here it says, I'm not strong enough. Here it says, I'm strong. Here it says, I'm not confident. I'm confident. Here, I don't have the money. I have the money. So you will finish off by writing that list of the positive affirmations that are the opposite to what you wrote in the first list. And then what do you do? You do very powerful not just affirmations, incantations. What is an incantation? Incantation is when you include your body language with the thing, strike yourself that power pose, right? Stand with that power pose, feel powerful, and chant those affirmations out with ultimate energy, emotions, because emotions locks into the memory, especially the subconscious memory, and just chant it out, giving that power move, every chant you're giving, or every affirmation you're giving, and guess what's just happened there? You probably haven't realized, but you just created personalized affirmations that are gearing you towards your goals. And at the same time, helping you get rid of the weeds, the limiters, the doubts, and the fears that may have been stuck there for a long time, the things that you've been conditioned with. It will help 
cover that and remove it. But it probably take daily practice in doing so. So these are three things that you can look out for resolving during this Scorpio season. And especially in the next 72 hours, you're gonna find that it's gonna be very powerful for you because after you do this for 72 hours, you're gonna already see from the end of this month, and especially in November and December, you're gonna start seeing new miracles manifest in your life because everything is happening on a super conscious level and the universe will respond based on your new vibrational frequency. That's everything for today. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also comment below, let us know where you guys have tuned in from and let us know if it's all been useful to you or you can relate to anything that I've said in this video. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, by the way, because this year we're dedicated to making daily videos so you are accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, we're signing out. Namaste. Namo Himalaya.